Remember that movie Inception, where everything is a dream within a dream within a dream? This story is like the epitome of modern day Orwellian America taken to an Inception level. Turns out, if you want to sing the national anthem at the National September 11 Memorial Museum in New York City, which you guys have seen us do videos on, it's like the Disneyland of false flags there. And they charge people a lot of money to come into their museum of lies and kind of worship the state story about what happened and feel patriotic. For just $24, you can be told the official lie. And apparently, 51 Waynesville Middle School students went there on a class trip. In the middle of singing the national anthem at the 9-11 memorial, this group of 11 to 14 year olds was stopped by 9-11's memorial security because they didn't have a $35 permit to sing there. You have to stop. This is considered a public demonstration, one of the guards shouted at the America-loving students from Waynesville Middle School who went all the way there from North Carolina to sing the national anthem. So you are not allowed to sing the national anthem at the 9-11 memorial. Prohibitive behavior includes, but is not limited to, excessive activity that has the effect, intent, or propensity to draw a crowd except by permission, demonstrations, rallies, soliciting leaflets. This is everything that the First Amendment and free speech isn't. Basically, that first one is the First Amendment. Prohibited behavior includes, but is not limited to, your First Amendment rights. They had already asked security for permission to sing the song. We had received verbal permission from another security guard, and he said, you just can't do this. We very reverently and quietly stopped what we were doing and complied with his request and quietly exited the park. So do you think that the teacher and the principal used this as an example for the kids to teach them about the First Amendment and free speech? Not exactly. What were the kids' reaction? They were disappointed, they were shocked, and I think most of all confused that they couldn't sing the national anthem at this site. Um, but we, we t you turned it into a teaching moment um, and taught them that even if you don't agree with it or don't understand it, you, you must respect authority. Absolutely, and I saw you did that. We could all see that you stopped just when he told them. She told the children, this is a place you need to respect authority even if you don't understand it. They use this as an excuse. They reverently and quietly obeyed authority as you do. We very reverently and quietly stopped what we were doing and complied with his request. And then she taught the children, you respect authority even if you don't understand it. Never question it, just do exactly what you're told. Um, but we, we t you turned it into a teaching moment um, and taught them that even if you don't agree with it or don't understand it, you, you must respect authority. And then the Fox reporter's like, exactly, absolutely, yes, absolutely, that's absolutely true. You respect authority all the time, no matter what. Absolutely, and I saw you did that, and we could all see that you stopped just when he told them. So then you go from, you can't have a First Amendment right at the 9-11 memorial. When you're told that, you obey authority no matter what and respect it reverently, humbly. You teach the children, respect authority no matter what. Then it billows out from there, another layer of the onion, is when people post the video on Facebook and it goes viral and you have someone posting, they stopped them halfway through singing the national anthem. It's so sad this is happening everywhere. They sounded great. God bless America. Check out these Orwellian responses to that. You have, have you been there? The atmosphere does not really lend itself to singing. It's like Pearl Harbor, another false flag location. It's somber. You really shouldn't sing there. You should do what the authorities say. You definitely shouldn't question them. So then the woman who posted the video, which has over 600,000 views, comes back in and says, I just wanted to clarify, when I first posted this, I didn't have all the information. Apparently you need a permit. Or the choral director would have never, all caps, let them sing if she had known that they required a permit to do so. So you have citizens of the state 
coming in to uphold the Orwellian state's ruling of saying you are not allowed to sing the national anthem at the 9-11 memorial. We very reverently and quietly stopped what we were doing and complied, turned it into a teaching moment um, and taught them that even if you don't agree with it or don't understand it, you, you must respect authority. And then she says, thank you Waynesville Middle School Chorus and Martha Brown for displaying such grace and respect for the rules. You see how this is like a Orwellian nightmare within an Orwellian nightmare within an Orwellian nightmare? You see the level that we're at? I can't think of a better analogy for that. I just, I've, this kind of blows my mind. This is the country we live in. I don't, I don't even know what else to say. I guess I'm gonna end all of my videos with a really long protracted sigh.